All right, guys, here we are. We're back today doing tomatoes. Look at those beauties. So, um, whenever I used to help some of the old timers ladies on the mountains, I mean, these ladies had it, had it going on and they would set up literally production line. And the key to canning is do it, uh, do it well, but do it quickly. And so we start here with the tomatoes and we blanch the skins off. So just plop those babies down in that hot water for a little bit, get you a nice big pot of boiling water, plunge over into some ice water. As soon as you take them out of that, you just put them over into that ice water. And then I immediately go back over to my fresh box of tomatoes here and put another round in. I usually in this pot can get you know four of these uh, ginormous ones. So we'll let that sit and do its thing for a little bit. And then when you take these out, from the ice water. I just set them over onto a, a baking pan or tray. I mean, there's nothing special about what's going on here in this kitchen. It's, it's just, you know, big pots and things of water. So when, instead of standing and trying to peel tomatoes or, you know, sieve it out whenever you get done, look at that. Those skins just peel right off. And so this makes it super easy whenever you're trying to, to can a large portion of tomatoes very quickly. And I'm just using one hand here, so that makes it a little bit, you know, less quick. But if you use both hands, then you literally can see how quickly those skins pull off those tomatoes. And then I don't have to worry about the skin anymore. I don't have to try to drain them off. I don't have to try to, you know, do any of that mess. They're gone, they're done. All I have to do is cut out that core and I'm ready to go. So you can see I've got quite a few of them that has already been done. The skins are gone, they're off. And again, I mean, this is just quick, easy, and efficient. And it makes your canning go so much quicker. Um, but you can see those just pull right off. So that's just a simple, quick little trick to help you move along in your canning process for tomatoes. And I mean, I'm doing this one-handed, so you can see if I have both hands, I can move through this pretty quickly. And I did all of these tomatoes in just a matter, just a short period of time. So, and again, you just come back and you just keep your production flowing. Just keep it going. I mean, when you're in this mode, your kitchen is set up for production and you just, uh, you just keep moving with it. So as soon as this is done, we're going to come back over. We're going to cut up our tomatoes. We're going to start getting them packed up into those uh, jars. Just follow along in your directions. You can find lots of great recipes online. Today I'm going to make canned tomatoes and tomato basil soup. Um, I'll also be making some sauces and things coming up. So, and I'm going to try my hand at some tomato ketchup, homemade tomato ketchup as well. But um, we'll move on through. You guys enjoy. Do your canning. If you can't find a good recipe, just keep in mind. You cannot can um, dairy products or flour. So if you find some recipes online that have, for tomato basil soup for instance, that has cream or dairy products or flour in it, you put those in when you're ready to cook it, when you're ready to eat, not during the canning process, because there's just no easy way to, uh, there's no good way to can that. You're gonna, you're gonna get sick. So okay. here's a quick tip for you. So, you know, these good little cores that you gotta cut out and do all of this. Here is a simple tip to help you knock that out super quick. See that guy? That is an apple core. And literally this is, your best friend when it comes to taking these hard cores out of these tomatoes. Push. And just pull out. And look at this. Done. Done, done, done. Simple, quick, makes you move through these very quickly. Again, prep and production is your friend when it comes to getting these things ready for canning. Um, but that simple device will save you lots of time in trying to get these tomatoes cut up because now I can just move through, slice these peppies up, um, and get them ready to go in the, in the 
either the hot um, pot or in the jars. So there you go. Quick tip. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so we've gone through and we've got, um, we've used our apple core. We pulled out all of the cores of these tomatoes. Literally got this done in a matter of minutes instead of a long time if you use a knife and try to cut these out. Um, but you can see, comes out nice round hole. And in order to get these tomatoes cut up and going, I just go to it. And for these, I'm using a bigger chop. Um, I like, I, there's nothing standard or um, remotely standardized about the cut that I do. I just get in there and chop and some I leave bigger, some I cut smaller, just simply because I like different sizes, especially when I'm canning. And uh, you know, when you open these jars in the winter and you wanna add this to your sauces or your soups or what have you, then some of the smaller tomatoes have cooked down. It gives you a nice, thicker consistency. Um, but you can see, I mean, I just move through these things as quickly as I can because time is money, my friend. You know, it takes a lot of time to do this, but and you wanna move through as quickly as you can um, and do it right. You know, canning, canning is an art. And I learned from a lot of the little old ladies in the Appalachians uh, here in Tennessee, in the mountains, and I was very grateful you know, it was a lot of hard work, and but I learned a lot from them. And a lot of these ladies were Depression era. So they had it down to a science. And, you know, getting through quickly so that they could process their gardens and and uh, get their stores up for the winter time. Because, honestly, some of these folks, they didn't have a whole lot of means. They didn't have a whole lot of money. But they had... Um, they had each other, they had great gardens, they had a great network. You know, some of those things that um, some people miss really today is you could always depend on your neighbors. Um, there was a great network of ladies. If somebody needed help, everybody jumped in. And that's part of one of the things that, um, that I did, you know, and for back then, uh, one of the reasons is I wanted to just simply because there was a lot of knowledge to be gained from them and that's one of the things that I value today and looking back I don't think that I appreciated it quite as much then whenever you're out in that garden and and picking everything that you're gonna bring in and prepare and you know a lot of them didn't have air conditioning so it was hot you had the stove going and all the boiling water and but um, I have to say, pay attention to some of these folks because knowledge is there and uh, without it, it's a lost art. And to be able to move through, you know, you can watch so many videos, you can do so many things, you can read so many books, but um, to learn some of the true shortcuts that that is available or that uh, you might not have thought of, you know, that that takes somebody who's just been through it and they go through it every year, they put up, they put away, and it's just a, you know, it's a fabulous experience. So, one that I value and memories that I treasure. A lot of those ladies have uh, passed on, and um, but I look back on them fondly and all that they taught me and um, inspired me to do. And this is one of the ways that makes me feel good that I'm doing something for my family for my family's health and well-being, and uh, there's just a deep sense of satisfaction that comes along with it. And yes, it is uh, it is time-consuming, it is hard work, um, but when you learn some of the shortcuts, you can move through these things very quickly. So, as you can see, I've sat here during the time that we've been talking, and I have processed most all of my tomatoes in that short period of time, and that's just where you get some of these quick little helpful hints that helps you move right through it. Take care.